Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of uh, Canadian expressions. We have Crown Royal and Texas Crown Club. We're going to start off with the staple that's been around for quite a long time, uh, Crown Royal. Matt, want to give us a little bit of a history? Okay, so Crown Royal um, itself, the distillery comes from, originally was Seagram's, which is up in Canada. Um, they <clears throat> started in 1857 at the Water Waterloo Distillery and they were responsible for a lot of the bootlegging during Prohibition with Seagram's. And so basically end of, at the end of Prohibition they paid 1.5 million dollars for not paying taxes. So it seems pretty low for, you know. Tax evasion. <laughs> tax yeah. evasion, but you know, whatever. Because <laughs> there wasn't any corruption involved there. Uh, the most popular products were of course uh, Seagram 7, VO, and Crown. So basically Crown started in 1939 as a gift when uh, King George VI and Queen Elizabeth II came to visit Canada as the first monarchs to visit Canada and they came across on the boat and then they took a railroad all the way across Canada. So they, they, they took 600 different tries to make this whiskey and it's 50 different blends put together. And he came out with the Royal, Clus, uh, Royal Glass Decanter look and the uh, purple bag that's always in the uh, every box of Crown. And so there's a trip to them and it became so popular after that that it became a regular staple across uh, Canada. So, and it's only available from, from 1939 to 1964 in Canada only. And then in 64, it finally came to Texas with all the oil workers coming down into Texas for the boom. And so today, Crown's the number one selling whiskey in Texas is Crown. And probably will continue to be because it sells like crazy. Um, but the cool thing too, it's on the, one of the world's largest freshwater lakes, Lake Winnipeg up in Manitoba. And they have uh, 360 acres, 50 warehouses, one still house. The still house is so big, the fishermen use it coming up the lake to use it as the uh, focal point to get back to shore. Wow. So uh, they have 76 full-time employees. It's uh, run 24-7 on, on 12 column stills, make 50 different whiskeys to make it up, and five recipes are used for new and used oak. And it's made up of uh, rye, corn, and barley, and 80% and of it all comes from Manitoba as far as the mash bill is concerned. And then they blend it together and it makes this wonderful product we call a crown. So let's go into the nosing and the tasting. Youthful to moderate, uh, moderately intense. It doesn't smell like a new oak, it smells like a used oak uh, in a corn dominant grain. Caramel, it's kind of thin smelling to me. Yeah, it is. Light fruits, mm -hmm. but a lot of sugary sweet notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the dark things that I'm finding are the clove, maybe cinnamon. Yeah, I get grainy, it's vanilla, it's slightly fruity. Mm -hmm. yeah, you get a kind of cinnamon too. Yeah, I can see that in the clove too. I can see those both being in there. They're, if they're there, they're light. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I guess we'll see how it tastes. Caramel, brown sugar. Some some slight maple in there. Yeah, molasses, Canadian. Syrupy. Maple, yeah, definitely very syrupy. Yeah, viscous, but somehow thin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's thin. It's not. You know, it doesn't feel syrupy, but it. Right. But the journey is somewhat syrupy. Yeah, it, it's forty percent, right. so that's not really a surprise. I mean, you know, who knows? I mean, it's still got some vanilla and oak, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it is super smooth. I mean, it's it's the definition of a smooth whiskey. Crown oil is definitely it. It really is. I mean, you know, no that's sharp pointed edges. There's a slight funk to a, to the finish. I get kind of a doughy finish. Is that what? It's kind of what I got, like a slight doughy finish. Yeah, I get the most. Yeah, it's got a little yeasty, oak on the end. Maybe yeah, yeah yeasty, yeah, yeah yeasty. doughy yeast, yeah. 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 That's good. I mean. It's probably one of the most popular drinks in Texas, not just because it sells by the bottle, but in a bar, they can go through tremendous amounts of Crown and Cokes, or Crown and Rocks, oh, yeah. Crown and Waters. I mean, it is just a staple in almost every house in Texas, and every bar has it. You, you can always depend on Crown Royal to be something everyone's going to have, and no one's gonna be upset they have to drink Crown Royal. I mean, it's, I don't know if I said I hate Crown Royal. I don't, I don't know anyone that says they hate it. I don't even know what's favorite, right. but, uh, Nobody can say this is a terrible. It's it's a really nice whiskey. I especially a lot of times you get a happy hour round. for three bucks. Right. I mean you can't really beat. I mean a one seven five is like forty five dollars. It's not bad. Sometimes you can get it cheaper. I mean thirty. Sometimes I've seen. I think I've even paid. This one was on something for thirty one. Wow. So okay. yeah, you know yeah. it's a great whiskey for the price. I mean 
it's 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 one of the few issues that says deluxe on the name and actually means it. Whereas most it's just marketing generally. Mostly it's a term of it sucks. <laughs> but that's a different story. So but no, it's right. good. I think it's a, I think it's a great whiskey for the price. Can't go wrong with it. There's tremendous amounts of variations of Crown that we'll cover at some point in time. There's probably another 12 or 20. Which we'll know if you have the flavor ones in to talk about. Oh, yeah. But yeah. But for now, this is great stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's I pretty good. Can't complain. All right. Move on so to we're going to move on to a, yeah, Texas Crown. This is not from Crown Royal. Yes. Although this is a Canadian whiskey? Yeah. Question mark? Technically, Which yeah. in that? All right, I'll tell you about Texas Crown. Texas Crown is Texas Crown Club Ultra Premium, because, you know, it means it's going to be really good. Ultra Premium. It's Ultra Premium. Um, it's also a 40%. It's some um, four-year-old uh, corn, rye, wheat, and barley in it. Mexar imports it from Canada, and they put oil derricks in the front of it to make you think it's from Texas. <laughs> Come to find out, the first time I had this bottle, I thought it was Texas. Then you get down to the fine print of bone, a Canadian whiskey. Then to come to find out, they put it in this pretty bag that they put, uh, I'm gonna grab that bag. Okay. The, uh, this beautiful bag here. So, shockingly, they're getting sued by Crown Royal. Imagine that. In a, in a velvet felt bag, maybe as a Texas star, and it has, the, has a crown on it. So, yeah. So Diageo owns them. I guess when Seagram's went under, Diageo bought, uh, I don't know, 2000. And so, yeah, now they're suing the living crap out of these guys. As they should be. Because it's like, come on, guys. This is, you can't pause this is going to work out for you. I mean, you can call it whatever. And then the fact that you don't even tell people it's for Tyler's is from Canada? What the hell's wrong with you people? So, okay, we'll go to the nose and the but that's my spiel on them. I think it's terrible. Matt marketing. has feelings on this. Don't lie. There are strong feelings. I get maple right on the nose. Slight smoky wood, a little bit kind of like barbecue, mesquite, vanilla back there. Yeah, I like this green. one has more of the clove, more of the more of the cinnamon, more spicy notes than. I'm vanilla. having a hard time getting past the the maple sweetness of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got grain and vanilla oaks and some slits a hint hint of caramel. But yeah, things are like so. It's got the smokiness on there mm -hmm. too. But it's got to have a more alcohol-forward nose on yeah, it than yeah, the Crown, for too. sure. See, I'm not getting a smoky note so much as, like, it's the wet wood that was once maybe burned. This is a fire from, from last night. Okay. Yeah, I could so see it kind of doused, smoldering yeah, a little bit? Yeah. Doused with, doused with water and kind of... I could see that, for sure. Yeah, it's just... It's okay. The nose is not that great. It's okay. So if they were trying to be crown in the bottle, they failed so far. <laughs> All right, so let's taste this. The caramel, the vanilla, the maple still get a woodiness on it. Um, a little bit of that smokiness, but it's not as overpowering to me in the taste as it is in the nose. Yeah, it's really grain alcohol forward. Oaky and vanilla and caramels and spice on the finish. The finish is probably the best part about this. This is not a great. I do not enjoy this. <laughs> sucks to be getting sued for this, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Matt has strong feelings about this. Um, it's it's thin. Uh, it is very thin. It doesn't have a very complex journey across your palate. Uh, it stays rather thin across the whole time. See, and I, I think yeah. well, their younger bottlings, I think, were better. This is not, this is not scary. I definitely, I don't know, prefer this, uh, the regular crown over that. Yeah. I mean, it's not expensive. I think it's like $22. I mean, it's not real expensive. I mean, it's fine. I'm sure if you mix it in Coke or you mix, I think it'd be fine for a mixer. It's, it's you know, it's... They try I don't to think make any it. of the smokiness is going to come through. I don't think any of the No, I don't think so either. No. And that smokiness is kind of leaving a weird funk in the back of my mm -hmm. throat. Uh, yeah. After I sit here for a little bit, it's still just lingering. I mean, yeah. I'm sure this is probably not one people are going to drink neat anyway. So I'm sure it's really made for mixing more than likely. I mean, but it is ultra premium, so you got that going for you. Fancy. <laughs> See, and I think ultra premium, I'm thinking sipping whiskey. <laughs> not so much. <laughs> All right. Nope. I'm going to... Cheers out of this one with the regular 
crown. Yeah, I'm going to cheers out with our next pour. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the Whiskey Crusaders. Until next time, uh, keep on crusading for better whiskey in the glass. Cheers. cheers.